Lao Tzu is considered the founder of Taoism and the author of the Tao Te Ching, a philosophical text that lays out the principles of Taoist thought and spirituality. According to Lao Tzu, calmness is a state of inner peace and tranquility, free from the distractions and disturbances of the outside world. In the Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu writes. A true leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, "We did it ourselves." This quote highlights the idea that true leaders are those who lead with quiet and calm strength, rather than with loud and aggressive force. Living in a state of calmness allows individuals to be more aware of their surroundings and the world around them. Which can lead to a greater sense of connection and understanding. By being calm, individuals can respond to life's challenges and difficulties with clarity, wisdom, and compassion, rather than with fear and anger. Lao Tzu believed that calmness can be achieved by living in harmony with the Tao, the natural flow of the universe. Which is why, in this video, we will explore how to stay calm even during challenging and difficult times, drawing from the wisdom of Lao Tzu. Number one, embrace simplicity. Lao Tzu says, "When you realize there's nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you." Lao Tzu emphasized the importance of simplicity in life. He believed that simplicity was key to finding peace, happiness, and harmony with the Tao. In Taoism, simplicity refers to the idea of living a life free from excess and focusing on what's essential. It involves reducing desires, material possessions, and external distractions in order to achieve calmness, inner peace, and harmony with the Tao. However, our modern-day world promotes a very fast-paced, materialistic, and status-driven lifestyle, which can make it difficult for people to embrace simplicity and seek a more balanced way of life. We generally believe that success and status are measured by the things we have, such as wealth, possessions, and power, and as a result, we accumulate as much as possible. There's also a pressure to conform to societal expectations, and to keep up with the lifestyles and possessions of those around us. And as one tries to keep up with societal expectations, the constant pursuit of material possessions, success, and status can lead to stress and anxiety. For instance, someone may purchase a luxury car and feel proud of it, but soon realize that there are even more luxurious cars owned by others. This realization may cause stress and anxiety, leading the individual to feel like they need to upgrade to a more expensive car, and so the cycle continues. The focus shifts from what brings happiness and contentment to what others have, leading to a constant pursuit of more and more and more without ever finding true peace and fulfillment. In this sense, societal conventions and expectations. Can create a constant cycle of wanting more and feeling stressed about acquiring and maintaining that. Taoism, on the other hand, advises us to let go of societal conventions and expectations. In doing so, by embracing simplicity and reducing desires, individuals can break free from this cycle and find peace and contentment in life. Simplicity is all about knowing exactly what you want and critically. What you don't want. One of the best ways to embrace simplicity is by living in moderation. Living in moderation means finding a middle path, one that avoids extremes and instead seeks balance and harmony. To adopt a moderate lifestyle, it's crucial to be mindful, evaluate, and manage our expenses and consumption so that we can find ways to be more frugal. This can involve simple changes, such as being mindful not to waste food, or to donate or recycle unused items instead of throwing them away. In terms of eating and drinking, moderation means avoiding overeating and heavy drinking, as this can lead to physical and emotional imbalances. Living in moderation can also mean taking simple steps to conserve resources, 
such as turning off the tap while brushing your teeth, or washing your car with a bucket of soap and water instead of using a drive through car wash. People who live in moderation typically focus on using fewer resources for themselves, but they're also happy to spend more on others. They balance their personal needs with their desire to be of service to others, creating a sense of contentment and fulfillment. By adopting this approach, individuals can live a life of simplicity, balance and harmony in line with the principles of Taoism. When we recognize our needs are few, we can stay calm and be present. Number 2. Practice Mindfulness In the words of Lao Tzu, If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're at peace, you're living in the present. In Taoism, mindfulness is defined as a state of awareness and attentiveness to the present moment, characterized by stillness and peace of mind. It's considered a crucial aspect of spiritual practice, as it allows individuals to connect with the Tao, the natural flow of the universe, and to live in harmony with it. Mindfulness involves observing one's thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations without judgment or attachment, and cultivating a sense of detachment and non-interference. It encourages individuals to let go of their worries, distractions, and desires, and to find peace and contentment in the present moment. Practicing mindfulness is highly recommended in our modern-day world because of the increasing levels of stress and anxiety caused by the fast pace and constant stimulation of our lives. Our modern world is full of distractions, from technology to work and social obligations, which can make it difficult to focus on the present moment. Practicing mindfulness helps individuals cultivate awareness of their thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations in the present moment, which can lead to reduced stress and improved well-being. It also helps individuals develop better focus and concentration, increased empathy and compassion, and enhanced relationships. Imagine you're taking a walk in nature. You're surrounded by beautiful scenery, with the sounds of birds chirping and leaves rustling in the wind. Instead of being caught up in your thoughts or worries, you focus your attention on the present moment and your physical sensations. You take deep breaths and feel the cool air entering and leaving your body. You become aware of the sensations of your feet touching the ground, the feeling of the sun on your skin, and the fragrance of the flowers. In this scenario, you're practicing Taoist mindfulness by being fully present in the moment, observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment or attachment, and cultivating a sense of peace and stillness. By doing so, you're connecting with the Tao and experiencing life in a more harmonious and mindful way. This example illustrates how Taoist mindfulness can be applied to daily life and how it can help individuals achieve inner balance and tranquility, reducing stress and anxiety, and gaining a deeper understanding of the Tao. By developing mindfulness, individuals can cultivate a calm, harmonious and fulfilling life free from the chaos and distractions of the world. Number 3. Practice non-action. Lao Tzu tells us, He who rushes ahead doesn't go far. In Taoist philosophy, non-action, also known as Wu Wai, is a crucial principle that highlights the importance of living in harmony with the Tao, or the natural flow of the universe. It involves the idea of letting things happen without attempting to control or influence outcomes. The objective of non-action is to attain a state of effortless action, where one acts in accordance with the natural flow of the universe, instead of forcing results. Water is often used as a metaphor for the concept of Wu Wai. In Taoism, water is viewed as an embodiment of the Tao as it moves effortlessly and adapts to its environment without resistance. Similarly, 
The ideal of Wu Wei is to embody the characteristics of water and navigate life in a relaxed, effortless manner. The water metaphor highlights the belief that by embracing Wu Wei, individuals can achieve a state of effortless action, where they move through life in harmony with the natural flow of the universe. Water is also seen as a symbol of flexibility and adaptability. Qualities that are emphasized in the practice of Wu Wei, by adopting a more flexible and adaptable perspective on life, individuals can free themselves from the constraints of ego, desire, and outcomes, and experience increased peace and balance. In our fast-paced and competitive world, we're often taught to strive for success and control over every aspect of our lives. We're encouraged to work hard, create opportunities, and be faster and more productive than others. However, this approach can lead to burnout, exhaustion, and disappointment. The more we try to control and force our circumstances, the more powerless we can feel. This is where the concept of non-forcing or wu wei comes in. Instead of trying to control or manipulate outcomes. Non-forcing involves embracing a more relaxed and accepting approach to life, and letting things happen naturally. This approach can help to reduce stress and increase inner peace, as it allows individuals to focus on the present moment and cultivate a greater sense of balance and resilience. Wu Wei can be applied to all aspects of life. At work, practicing Wu Wei can mean embracing a more relaxed and focused approach to tasks, without becoming attached to specific results. This can include letting go of perfectionism, focusing on the present moment, and allowing work to unfold naturally. In the workplace, it also involves embracing a collaborative approach and valuing the contributions of others, promoting a harmonious work environment. In relationships. Practicing Wu Wei involves releasing control and allowing others to be themselves, rather than trying to change or manipulating them, leading to greater understanding and harmony. The aim of Wu Wei is to let go of ego and attachment to specific outcomes, and adopt a more accepting and peaceful attitude towards life. Incorporating this mindset into daily life can lead to greater inner peace and well-being, lower stress and anxiety. And increased resilience in the face of life's challenges. Wu Wei also encourages mindfulness and focus on the present moment, leading to clearer thought and a more centered state of mind. By practicing Wu Wei, individuals can cultivate a sense of calm and balance in all areas of their lives. Number four, connect with nature. According to Lao Tzu. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Taoists believe that nature embodies the principles of the Tao, which is the ultimate reality and source of all things. Taoists see nature as operating with a sense of balance and wisdom, and that it doesn't need to rush or force things in order to achieve its goals. By connecting with nature. One can learn from its balance, simplicity, and wisdom, and apply these principles to their own lives. The ecosystem of a forest, for example, demonstrates balance as different species of plants and animals interact with each other in a way that sustains the overall health of the system. Lao Tzu's message is that by observing and learning from nature, we can cultivate a sense of balance and peace in our own lives. And that this can help us accomplish our own goals in a more effective and harmonious way. Thus, connecting with nature is essential for spiritual growth and development. Our modern-day busy schedules often don't allow us to connect with nature as much as we'd like. With demanding work schedules, long commutes, and an increasing reliance on technology, many people find they spend very little time outside or in natural environments. This disconnection from nature can have negative effects on our well-being, such as increased stress and anxiety, vitamin D deficiency, lack of physical exercise, etc. 
Studies have also shown that not spending time in nature can decrease attention span, memory, and overall cognitive function. On the other hand, spending time in nature has been shown to lower stress levels, improve mood, boost cognitive function, and increase overall happiness. It's important to make an effort to incorporate nature into our daily lives, even if it's just for a few minutes at a time. Simple activities like taking a walk in a park, gardening, or simply sitting outside can help us connect with nature and reap its benefits. Even if you have a busy schedule, every now and then you can go for a walk in a nearby park or green space during your lunch break to enjoy the fresh air and connect with nature. You could also take a weekend hike in a nearby nature trail or park and get some exercise and enjoy the beauty of nature or bring a touch of nature inside by adding plants to your home or office. The key thing is to make time for it, even if it's just for a few minutes, to give yourself the chance to reap the many benefits that come from being surrounded by nature. Making time for nature can help us find balance and peace in our busy lives, and can be a source of inspiration, calmness, and renewal. Number five. Embrace change. In our final quote from Lao Tzu for this video, he says, Life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them. That only creates sorrow. Let reality be reality. Let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. In Taoism, change is a constant aspect and as an inherent part of the natural cycle of life and the universe, it should be embraced and accepted rather than resisted. By embracing the natural flow of the universe and adapting to change, one can experience greater calmness and happiness. There are several different types of change, including Natural change, which refers to the changes that occur in nature, such as the cycles of the seasons, the growth and decay of living things, and the flow of rivers and streams. Personal change, which refers to the changes that occur within an individual, such as growth, aging, and the development of personal beliefs and values. And social change, which refers to changes that occur in society and culture, such as shifts in political systems. Taoism urges us to see changes in life as a natural part of the flow of the universe. These changes are seen as inevitable and necessary for growth, evolution, and the maintenance of balance in the world. To let nature take its course, Taoism teaches that individuals should not interfere with the natural flow of events and should allow things to change and evolve as they will. However, most of us fight change for several reasons. Many of us fear the uncertainty aspects of change and fear what the future will bring. We fight change because we're emotionally attached to certain things, such as relationships, careers, or possessions. Let's take not being able to move on after a breakup as an example in which an individual continues to hold on to feelings of attachment, hurt, or anger after the breakup towards their former partner. They may dwell on past memories and experiences and struggle to accept the fact that the relationship has ended. When individuals resist change, they cling to the past and resist the natural flow of life. This attachment can lead to feelings of anxiety, stress and frustration as individuals struggle to maintain control over their environment. Since change is an inevitable part of life, resistance to it will only create more suffering. By clinging to the past and trying to maintain control, individuals limit their ability to adapt and grow, which can lead to stagnation and a lack of progress. Taoism recognizes change can bring both positive and negative experiences and advises us to see change as an opportunity for growth and transformation. Using the same example, in order to move forward, it may be helpful for this individual to focus on self-care engage in activities that bring them joy and seek support from friends and family and be hopeful for a new relationship. By embracing change, individuals can develop a greater sense of resilience and the ability to adapt to new situations. 
This can help them to bounce back more quickly from challenges and setbacks. Embracing change instead of resisting it can help reduce anxiety and stress associated with the unknown. When individuals approach change with an open mind, they're less likely to feel overwhelmed and more capable of adapting to new circumstances. In conclusion, embracing change can be beneficial for maintaining calm and reducing stress. By approaching change with an open mind and a willingness to adapt, individuals can develop greater resilience, creativity, and overall well-being. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out our full Philosophies for Life playlist. And for more videos to help you find success and happiness using ancient philosophical wisdom, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.